Thanks to the Lord who called on his name, made known among the nations what he had done. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Remember the wonders he has done, his miracles and the judgments he pronounced. O descendants of Abraham, his servant, O sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. He judges are in all the earth. He remembered his covenant forever, the world he commanded for a thousand generations. The covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. He combined it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. To you, I will give the land of Canaan as the portion you will inherit. I'll be reading Romans 8, 26 to 39, the New International Version. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what he, um, what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, yeah. who have been called according to his purpose. For those, those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might also be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And who he predestined, he also called. He, those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? For who, he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God, and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Now in these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.